And Sammy, come on. They don't know daddy's in the backyard waiting for them, huh? You wanna go outside? Come on. Come on, all right. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Come on, Major. Come on. Major, come on. Come on. Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> All right, girls. You ready to CrossFit? Yeah. All right. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right. One wave. We're at the Camp Lejeune Inn. Daddy! Dad! <laughs> you didn't know you were coming to see me, Daddy. Huh? I was just surprised, Joe. I was surprised. <laughs> oh, honey. Who's that, Sid? Hi, baby. Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby. <laughs> Don't cry, honey. Hey, you get to stay with me for like two yeah, hours. Yeah, we get days. to visit with Daddy some more. <laughs> Was it a surprise? Is that a good surprise? <laughs> it is. Surprise, aren't you, sugar? Oh, Sydney, who is that? She said Daddy. <laughs> Did you miss your Daddy? Hi, Daddy. 
<laughs> Aww, Daddy. Get her face, brother. She's happy. Yay. Okay, now we're going to go find our room here on the bay. And finally tonight here, as you likely know, it is a tradition every New Year's, the Rose Parade and those beautiful floats. But today, an image no one was expecting, not even a little boy who hadn't seen his father in nearly a year. Miriam Paz and her four-year-old son, Eric, had flown all the way back from Germany, back home to the States, to California. Mom and son living in Germany while dad is deployed to Afghanistan. They thought they'd won a contest to come home and the prize, a trip to the Rose Parade. What did you have to do to win? Uh, my husband just entered his name, I guess. I just got a call letting me know that we won. Uh, he is a soldier stationed in Afghanistan? Yes, he's in Afghanistan right now. Or so she thought. Her husband, Sergeant First Class Eric Paz, was right there at the parade, on the float, proudly wearing his uniform and making his way toward them. As mom and her four-year-old son were posing for a picture, they then turn around and that little four-year-old looks up, making his way over right into the arms of his father. It was a really great experience. I think the first thing I thought was, oh my Lord, I hope I hope she's not going to slap me for lying to her. And I, seeing our son's face, and, you know, how he reacted, and, you know, it, I was really caught up in the moment. A family together again, just in time for the new year. They hadn't seen each other in seven months. Hey, 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 wait a minute. That's not Brandon Fowler. Returning from Kuwait to surprise his family, it's Anthony's dad! <laughs> the United States Army Sergeant First Class, Anthony Moments like that never get old. Let's explain what's happening here. Anthony Farmer Jr. was on the right of your screen. A high school student here in Charlotte. He's going to play lacrosse for Mars Hill next year. At number 57, that's his dad, Anthony Sr. U.S. Army Sergeant First Class, just back from Afghanistan. He came out to hand off the Went ball before face-off, acting like he was a player, and well, no, 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 surprise Anthony. Mom knew about it, the rest of the family didn't, and Anthony kind of looked at his dad and looked away, and it was like, oh my gosh, that's my dad. Yeah, what a great moment here. Put together by the, the Charlotte Hounds, and a great moment for the Farmer family. You remember you wanted me to get early Doucette to come to your party? Well, I don't know if I could get him, but we'll look over. Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Is he better than early Doucette, Lily? Yes, <laughs>
Oh, I'm recording it. Oh, okay. Where's <laughs> Big cry babies. <laughs> Yeah. 